Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, all you funky fly fish tank fish keeping funkadelics? You watch out the funk with me, Jay the Angel Freak, and I just wanted to go over um, what transpired over the last week with me and my buddies, the three amigos. <laughs> um, so, as some of you probably know, I, I ship fish to my 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 um, my pizos, my compadres, and um, Andy from Andy's Angels and Rob from Rob ninety three. And I just wanted to go, today's Saturday, so they received the fish on Wednesday, and I think that's enough time for me to give an accurate, you know, uh, update as to what I've learned, and uh, maybe some of you guys could, um, you know, get some out of it. So, um, first of all, priority shipping through UPS, um, it's a uh, one size, one price. The size of the box dictates the size of the price. You don't have to pay anything, anything extra for um, weight. Um, but let's be honest. When they asked me if there was any food or liquids in there, I said no. Um, but apparently, that's the way a lot of people do it. So um, um, I was watching one video from I forgot who it was. But they mentioned about putting um, an extra bag liner in there so that if you do have a leak, it doesn't leak on other people's packages, which would put a kibosh on the whole situation. So if you plan on shipping fish through the mail um, and you're doing it on a DL, um, make sure you put a liner in there so that you don't mess it up for everybody in case um, you got some leakage. Secondly, unfortunately the boxes are smaller than I would like them to be. Um, especially if you're sending a lot so that's that um, but you know if you're sending uh, small fish juveniles and stuff like that I think the boxes are plenty big unless somebody's getting a ridiculously large order which I'm sure um, if you're selling them the price that you're getting for them you know you can go ahead and spring for the for the um, overnight shipping and the bigger box and the weight and all that so um, I went ahead and I didn't feed my fish 12 hours before shipping. Now, I had two types of fish going to two different destinations. One was juvenile angelfish and juvenile cribs um, to Rob 93 in Indianapolis, which I also sent him some plecos and there was a lot of poop in the bag with the plecos. There was absolutely none in the angelfish and the cribs, and I, and I think a lot of that is because I feed them different foods. I feed the angelfish and the cribs um, a flake, plus they were juveniles, and they don't eat as much. Um, I do feed them heavy, but they burn through it a lot. He they burn through their food a lot faster, being that they're growing. Um, so when they, when Rob got his fish, there was no poop in the bag except for the plecos, but you can't do nothing about the plecos because they eat whatever's. You know, you can't like not feed them. They will find something to eat. So that's common. Plus, they're gangster fish and they can handle a little poop in their water. Um, now, on the other hand, Andy in Georgia, I sent him um, tang tanganica, tanganica um, cichlids, which their food is very high in protein. And they eat a lot. So there was poop in their bag. So um, basically, what, I, what, it, what I've gotten out of that is if you're going to be... If you're going to be sending fish that are light eaters, you can get away with about 24 to 12 hours of, you know, fasting before you ship them. Whereas maybe the, sh the bigger, bulkier, heavier eaters like the cichlids and all that, you might want to do 48 hours before. They're not going to die. If you have been taking care of your fish, fine, uh, 48 hours, not going to be a problem. In fact, you know, the fact that they're not going to be pooping in the bag and destroying their qual the water quality, it's actually better for them than feeding them and, and them, you know. So, anyway, so I just, I learned that. Light eaters, you can get away with, you know, 12 to 24 hours. Heavy eaters, you know, you might want to go ahead and do the 48 hours so they don't poop in the bag. Um, what else did I learn? I learned that, unfortunately, um, breathable bags don't come in so in the very various sizes that you may need as much uh, like the um, the the normal plastic bags. Um, so um, 
you know, that's that's another aspect of uh, of shipping. You don't need as much water in the breathable bags, which makes that you know pretty ideal when you use the the boxes because the, the the UPS priority shipping boxes aren't as big. You don't need as much water or as you don't need no oxygen, so the bags are smaller. So that that works out. Um, I the um the the paper that the bags were shipped in the newspaper that Rob um, received was a little bit damp to the touch whereas the paper that the paper that the bags were um, wrapped in in Andy in Georgia a little bit more wet now these breathable bags do seep and I would imagine temperature has a lot to do with it so I guess maybe it was a little bit hotter going down to Georgia so the bags sweated more I mean yeah the bags sweated more once again, I wrapped them in um, newspaper, which soaked up a lot of that water, and the box was lined with a heavy-duty garbage bag. So, there was no water on the outside of the box, so that's a plus. So, keep that in mind when you're shipping. Don't mess it up for everybody and have, you know, bags dripping all over everybody's birthday cards. Uh, once you receive the fish, if you receive fish and they do come in those breathable bags, floating them is different. Um, you want to float them with a clip, a chip clip, or some kind of clip at the top of the tank so that they don't sink to the bottom. Um, mind you, they get their oxygen from the, the bag, the bag, the membrane of the bag, the, the, water, the air comes. So I would imagine them being submerged would be a little bit less oxygen that can go, you know, pass through properly. So what you want to do is you want to see, you want to put a chip clip potato chip clip, some kind of clip, and clip them to the top of the tank so that half of the, you know, half of the bag is submerged. The bags are not as full, as big as the other, as the um, normal type, so it shouldn't take as long to, for them to temperature acclimate. That's all I got. Um, like I said, today's Saturday. Don't forget to catch us on our live stream on Andy's Angels channel. We always have a good time. It's all about fun. Uh you know, conversing with the people in the chat uh, and the people in the panel. It, it, look, it's all about fun. We, do, we don't like no dead air. We want to talk to everybody. We want to joke with everybody. We want to joke with everybody. What did I forget? We want to joke with everybody. We, we really just did it to have fun with Because we have fun, us three, when we talk. And we thought, boom, let's put it out there. Everybody can have fun. So it's more about fun. We may not learn one thing about fish. But we're going to have fun not learning nothing. So, um, Andy's Angels channel at 6 o'clock-ish. We're always late. It would not be proper unless we was late in some way, shape, or form. So, anyway, that's my time. Thank you for watching. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care. Where's that? Where's that camera? Take care of your fish.